Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you the different kinds of users you can add to your QuickBooks Online. What I've currently subscribed to here is QuickBooks Online Plus. So let me go ahead and add users and show you what it looks like. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the gear. When the gear opens on the left hand side, I will select Manage Users. Now I have two options here. I have users and I have accounting firms. In this case, I don't want to add an accounting firm. I want to add a regular user, somebody on my team. So over to the right, I have this option for add user. When I click on it, I can see the different types of user I can add. I can add a standard user. I can add a company admin. I can add a reports only user, a time tracking user, a take payments only user. So let's go ahead and start at the top and we'll make a standard user. I'll select next. This is a list of what I can allow my standard user access to. So I can give them access to all, which lets them do all the things you see here. I can give them access to none. This is going to be useful if they need to use the time card feature of QuickBooks, but they don't need to see the financial data. Or I can give them limited access. Say for example, they were working with my customers, but not my vendors. So they were working with people who buy stuff from us, um, or I can say they're working with vendors, so they're working with people that we buy from. When I'm happy with my selection, I can click Next. I can say, do they need to submit their own timesheets? It's pretty easy, yes or no. In this example, we'll say no. Then we'll select Next. Do I want this user to have the ability to add, edit, or remove users? That's saying, do I want the user to be able to add people to the QuickBooks Online account? I'm going to say no. Do I want them to edit company information? That would be if I that is the same thing as asking, do I want the user to be able to change my company email address, company mailing address, company logo? The answer is probably not. I, I probably have it set up the way that I want it and I don't need to change it, let alone my user. And then do I want my user to be able to manage the subscription? It's basically saying, do I want the user to be able to upgrade or downgrade the version of QuickBooks that I'm using? The answer is probably not. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as a no. I'm going to go ahead and select next and then add their info. So let's say, um, uh, gentle frog. So I'm going to make up a user called Rachel plus user. And then I'll select save. This will send an invitation to the Rachel user allowing the Rachel user to make any changes to the QuickBooks uh, given the parameters that I've specified. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to let me know. Please like and subscribe. If there's anything we can help you with, we offer bookkeeping as well as training and can be found at gentlefrog.com. Thank you.